prepared you are for the insurance adjustment, obviously your buy rate is going to go up. Guy on the left, right here, that's how you don't want to look when you show up to an insurance adjustment. You know, you want to be on time, you want to have your supporting docs, you want to be prepared for whatever that type of claim is. And if you look professional, then he therefore presumes and gives you the benefit of the doubt until you prove otherwise. Your job is to ask questions, not make statements. If you ask a question, the only thing they can do is answer your question. Two words, overhead and profit. Everybody wants to know how to get it. How do I increase my approval rates? Sure. How do I get past that desk adjuster denying me pre-sub bids? But we damn sure want to get our 20% on AC replacement. That's a lot and of you're work. you're proving that you have subs. You're not saying you're a general contractor yeah. and you have subs. You're establishing and showing that you're a general contractor that actually has subs. It's like building a chocolate layer cake. With documentation, with pre-sub bids, your chance of uh, even overhead profit are much greater than just saying, hey man, there's six trades on this project. I need OMP. That's what everybody does. But guess what? Those days are over. Most policies have an appraisal process somewhere written in that policy that allows the property owner, which inadvertently allows you the contractor, to get a second opinion, get a fair shake, get a supposedly a third party involved. If you hire a competent appraiser and they select an unbiased umpire, then you should expect very good results. So once the property owner sends in a request for appraisal, that's when the time clock starts, which is why you want it in writing so you can actually see the date. If they're not coming to an agreement immediately, the two can work on it. We do this all the time. Mm -hmm. You try to work it out and you work on it, work at it. If you, if you realize you've come to an impasse and the other appraiser can't be reasoned with, then you involve the umpire.